I've been investigating uh, acute myelogenous leukemia um, and trying to improve uh, the way that uh, leukemia patients uh, experience uh, medical care. The theoretical side of uh, chemical engineering um, has, is really translates well to other areas, um, particularly medicine. Uh, so for example, in my chemical engineering uh, courses, I learned about the principles of fluid flow uh, and uh, how to dynamically model them. And when you think about it, it's identical to the bloodstream. Uh, so it's really translatable to the work I do in the medical school and understanding uh, those ideas in terms of engineering concepts is very helpful. I'm planning in July uh, working uh, in a biotechnology startup company. Uh, they investigate synthetic biology uh, and it from an, uh, an engineering perspective. So I'm not exactly sure what project I'll be assigned to. Um, I know they work on a, a range of technologies, uh, primarily involved with uh, engineering uh, various organisms to achieve uh, certain engineering goals. Uh, it's a, a kind of an emerging field called synthetic biology, uh, which believes uh, in the principles of uh, biological design. Uh, so generally the idea is, uh, in a nutshell, uh, we have the capability to read uh, DNA, but now do we have the capability to write? Uh, kind of moving from the reading and the interpretation stage uh, of biology to now can we create and can we design uh, for, for the benefit of society? Uh, so one project I know they work on is the uh, design of uh, an engineered bio uh, organism, I, I think e, e. coli, uh, that can uh, produce gasoline from uh, common inputs such as carbon dioxide and uh, water and sunshine and, uh, and whatnot. So I think that's one of the, the projects, but I'm not really sure exactly where I'll be. And I think that both my research work uh, and my uh, chemical engineering major will really uh, be quite beneficial. I know that throughout the interview process, the, one of the key questions I ask is, what is your research experience? And I was able to point to all the research experience I've had, thanks to Kerf uh, and their encouragement. Uh, and I think that really made the difference in being able to, to move from here to there. Um, I was actually started out as a Benjamin Franklin Scholar. Um, and I began that program my freshman year. Uh, and was assigned to meet with Dr. Wallace Genser as my advisor. Uh, and I quickly learned that both Dr. Genser and the many other advisors in the Kerf building uh, have their doors constantly open and are uh, simultaneously uh, very welcoming and encouraging uh, to students. Um, and he really got me started uh, and encouraged me to uh, embrace all that the university has to offer. Particularly the biology courses that I've taken uh, and the engineering mindset of how to solve a problem uh, has been helpful in interpreting experimental results, um, understanding error, understanding uh, what kind of results are significant and not significant. Um, I worked on a, uh, on a chemical engineering laboratory course uh, where experimental design uh, was a key issue. Um, and these factors have kind of bled over into the real research world uh, where the questions uh, are not pre-designed uh, and the labs are not pre-designed uh, and the, the questions are really unknown. Um, but the model that I've learned in the classroom uh, has really uh, applied well uh, and I've been able to kind of in help with my interpretation of various experimental results. Um, and particularly the vocabulary, uh, a lot of the, the keywords and, and technical aspects of the research uh, are things that I now understand given my biology background and chemistry background. Uh, those issues really helped. Uh, so I'm a chemical and biomolecular engineering major, so by day I'm busy writing equations and solving uh, different problems. Uh, but I felt that it'd be a nice complement to my theoretical side uh, in the, of the engineering work that I do to really get some hands-on experience. And I find that when I'm in the lab, I'm not just thinking about science, but I'm really doing science uh, and seeing a lot of the chemistry and the mathematics and the engineering that I've learned about come alive. Uh, so I've really enjoyed um, seeing the research as a nice complement uh, to the science uh, that I've learned about in the classroom. Kerf has been a wonderful resource to me throughout my four years uh, at this fine institution. Uh, and since sophomore year, they've been instrumental in encouraging me to participate in research on campus, uh, specifically with a professor in the medical school uh, in the hematology and oncology department. Uh, and it's wonderful that we have uh, the Penn Medical School resource on, resource on campus. Uh, and Kerf has encouraged me uh, not only with uh, financial uh, support, uh, but also just mentoring and uh, many other services to help create a research culture on campus and, and push me to uh, engage in undergraduate research throughout my four years.